What's up guys? Risuno from the beefy ether dudes here with a guide on directional influence or just the eye. This technique is one of the most important things you have to know about to become a solid Rivals of Ether player. The eye helps you at surviving longer and potentially getting out of your opponent's combos. So what exactly is the eye? Whenever you get hit, you start flying away into the direction of the attack's knockback. Now, if you use the eye, you can actually alter the angle of where you are going after being hit. If you press your control stick into a direction while being in hit lag, the angle of the knockback will be changed a bit. So, for example, if you are sent flying straight upwards, you can either press left or right to change where you are going. The same rule applies to every other knockback direction. So, what exactly does happen when the eyeing? Imagine an arrow which decides where and how far you go after being hit. Now, by adding a second vector, you get a new angle as a result of these two. This means that if you want the highest possible influence, you will have to hold the control stick 90 degree away from the direction you're originally going. But some of you might ask now, okay, but why should I do that? I'm sure that you already know that if you touch the side of the blast zone, you will lose a stock. This will most likely happen when the opponent's hit is strong enough to get you this far off stage. Now, since you can alter the angle you are being sent to, but do not change the distance you actually travel, you can steer your character into the blast zone's corner. This will let you safely drift away from it and make you come back to stage to keep fighting a little longer with your current stock. So, this is the first thing you can do with it. But what about getting out of combos? Since the eye does apply to pretty much every hit, you can alter the angle of the knockback after every single one of them, making it hard for your opponent to react properly and might help you getting out of his rage. This is really important to avoid getting killed by up air strings and similar cheesy combos, as they can destroy you if you do not DI accordingly. Oh, also remember, DI is not always a good thing. If you use it poorly, you can die earlier than without using it. For example, by pressing into the wrong direction after receiving an otherwise non-fatal blow. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new to become a stronger rival for your opponents. If you want to be up to date on all the techniques in this game, be sure to subscribe. We really appreciate it. We are going to push out all the things you need to know and keep you on track with high level Rivals of Ether content. So thanks a lot for watching and stay beefy.